and gentlemen, it's time for Chemistry Death Match! Featuring Professor John Chemical Kilcoyne and science's biggest loser, And the last time in round one, Kilcoin took the lead with his dog bark sound. But who could produce the biggest bang? Gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. And it turns your corners and prepare your chemicals. And the bangs will be prepared inside metal tins. Kilcoin's filling his with hydrogen gas or H2. And Bunhead appears to be going for a much larger tin, and uh, by golly, that's not regulation. Inside, he's making his own acetylene gas. And there it is, for you chemistry fans. Professor, please produce your bang. And there we are, Kilcoin lights the hydrogen gas. Looks like it hasn't worked, but right now air is actually entering the tin, and oxygen is mixing with the hydrogen. Look at that tin fly! When the hydrogen and oxygen reach a critical mixture, the tin explodes and launches skywards. A splendid bang! And because it's just hydrogen and oxygen burning, the only residue is water. Absolutely smashing. Bunhead, please produce your bang. Can Bunhead's acetylene gas match the professor's bang? He's certainly giving it a wide berth. Utter destruction! The acetylene explodes, ripping the tin apart with an ear-shredding bang. There's no finesse here. Even Bunhead's residue is dirty, producing CO2 as well as water. But it's all about the bang. It's time for the judge's verdict. And it's a unanimous decision for Bunhead! Join us next time when our titans of titration will be competing to produce the most foam.